Hey guys, this is Bobby, and here's part 7. Now, what you just saw me wearing is something that I got at the Cherry Blossom Parade and Festival. It's Kamen Rider Ichigo. It's a Kamen Rider Ichigo mask. Or Nigo. Their visors are the their masks are the same. But anyway, I, um, I went to the Cherry Blossom Parade and Festival this past April with Bethany and Sarah, as well as our friend Sophie, and we met up with our friend Bethany, and we met up with our friend Caitlin, who Bethany and I met at Oticon last year. And she brought a couple of her friends. And while we were there, um, we did encounter some people who were who caused problems. Some of them, I, I mean, you can, I mean, if you watch part 10, uh, in the 10th Cherry Blossom video, uh, parade video I uploaded this year, um, you can actually hear them. They were being, I admit, they were, being, they were kind of pretty rude. I won't, I mean, it, I, I tagged, I tagged, I mean, when I uploaded the videos on the Facebook, I was listening, and I, and I realized uh, well, that we could, that I did catch, uh, that I did get in on some of the, uh, some of it, I some of the complaining about, like, my book bag scratching them when I was filming and taking pictures, so I couldn't really control what, what my book bag was touching, what my book bag was doing, and, you know, I mean, and, but, and of course, when we moved across the street, there was a guy ordering us to move to a different spot because we were in his shot. When there was a huge puddle of water on the on the ground, so we uh, it was the only gr dry spot we could find. But I mean, the parade was good. But before it ended, we decided to just go to the festival, and of course, we saw we saw some Curiger masks, which. I was I should have, I was hoping to get one, but I but I want if I got this first, and then when we got my set, I get, go and get it, and get the Kerry Green one. They didn't have it, which. But anyway, the festival is fun. In fact, we ran into somebody from Otakon who cosplays as Shotaro Hidari from Kamen Rider Double, and on well, I saw a ton of Mustangs that day. I just can't remember exactly how many. And we um. We went, we went to look for the cherry blossoms, but we got lost. And Caitlin had realized she l forgot some, that she lost something, and we went back to the festival and got it, and eventually we all went our separate ways. And it was a fun day, and I can't wait for next year. And, in fact, um, Caitlin triggered and uh, sparked an interest of something in me, and... That is Ultraman, who, which I've been a, a tokusatsu hero that I've been a fan of off and on for about 20 years. I've become a really big fan now, with the fact that I created an Ultraman fa Facebook group. And I've watched the first 11 episodes of Mebius, and the first episode of Cosmos, and 7 episodes of Gaia. And I'm hoping to watch more. And also... But, and, but yeah, thanks Caitlin... And I, and I didn't mean to complain about what happened at the parade. It's just it kind of it made the fact that it, the fact that you know we weren't doing anything wrong and we were getting disrespected we by people and it was just not nice. Now I want to talk about something else. I want sorry anyway I want to talk about Face Off season four. Now they had some amazing makeups this past season. My personal f favorite was the DC Comics Superhero, which was the s second Spotlight Challenge. I actually bought the comic this past February, which, which is Justice League Dark number 16. And it was the Infernal Core created by Anthony Kosar, who uh, from Chicago, who ultimately won the whole series. He won six challenges, three Spotlight Challenges, and a Foundation Challenge back in a row. I mean, back to back to back to back, and then he, I mean, he won. He won two other challenges and the the final one, and he kicked some butt. In fact, I rooted for him the whole way. There were some other cool makeups, like let me think. Uh, oh, the, t the multi-headed giant challenge from for J for Jack the Giant Slayer, and oh man, what was oh the bio well the bioluminescence challenge ones were pretty cool. Anthony won that one. Oh, the candy challenge. That was a good one. I mean, Chris won that one, and of course. But anyway, it's an amazing. It was an amazing season. I can't wait for season five, which airs next week. And you know what? 
I actually got recently got an idea for a face off for a good a really good idea for a spotlight challenge. And but and if anybody knows where um a way um how I could maybe submit this idea to um, to the people at Sci Fi or the producers of uh, of Face Off, please let me know. I'd be really really grateful because it kind of pertains to something that I'm somewhat good at, but and a thing I'm not very good at. It, but and but overall, but like I said, overall this Face Off season four was awesome. Can't wait for five. This ends part seven.